Loans from the federal government are not the long-term answer for struggling small businesses. I'm Christian Gomez and you're watching JBS Straight Talk. Last month, many of you will recall the massive $6.3 trillion coronavirus stimulus package that was passed comprised of $2.3 trillion in direct assistance from Congress and an additional $4 trillion from the Fed and Treasury injected into the markets through their preferred banks. The big banks and financial institutions were protected. The airline industries were bailed out, but our nation's small businesses have been left out to dry. The $2.3 trillion CARES Act passed by Congress authorized $349 billion in loans for small businesses. The loans would be managed by the Small Business Administration and would be dispensed by banks through the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP. The program was doomed to fail before it even started. Within minutes of its launch, banks were reporting that they had already run out of funds. NBC News quoted one senior banking executive as saying it was Hunger Games after the series of novels turned film trilogy set in a dystopian future where teenagers are forced to participate in a battle royale death match in which the families of the victor's home district are awarded extra rations of food for a year. In other words, it was every man or small business for itself. The loan applications were processed on a first come, first serve basis, and because the federal government failed to provide any clarity or guidance to small business owners on how and where to properly apply for the loans, many were left out in the cold. Even for the many small business owners who spent the long hours or days figuring out and filling out the proper paperwork in order to apply for the loan as soon as possible and later check to see the status of their loan application, they were shocked to find that it was still pending even after the fact that the program was already out of money. Many small businesses were counting on those loans to pay their employees wages, pay their utilities, and commercial rent in order to avoid permanently going out of business. Most small businesses also don't have the luxury of affording a team of lawyers who can navigate and cut through all the bureaucratic red tape. Rather than the money going to the mom and pop businesses, the majority went to larger businesses such as fast food chains Shake Shack and Pop Belly, the video storage giant Quantum, and the Holidor Energy Coal Company, each of which received $10 million. Fortunately, in the case of Shake Shack, they announced they were returning the $10 million, saying that other smaller restaurants needed it more than them. Nevertheless, it's clear that $349 billion just wasn't enough, and this has prompted Congress to rush through another stimulus, the so-called Phase 3.5, to replenish the PPP. If this experience has shown us anything, it's that Soviet-style command economics doesn't work. Government welfare and mismanagement won't save small businesses. The only real cure is freedom. Small businesses didn't get into this problem by any fault of their own. The problem is government, mainly the one-size-fits-all economic shutdowns of so-called non-essential businesses imposed by governors across the country. For the sake of restoring and saving our small businesses, it's imperative that governors rescind their draconian stay-at-home mandates and allow people to get back to work. Use the link below to contact and urge your state legislators and governor to end the coronavirus shutdown. It's time we reopen America. Until next time, stay healthy and God bless.